This is another K-pop music video that basically just promotes occult symbolism and basically promotes that there's no God. That's what this promotes. And as you see in the background, the zodiac symbols in the zodiac, which is connected to witchcraft. This song basically just promotes witchcraft, promotes the fall of Lucifer. They basically portray themselves as Lucifer falling from heaven. And as you see straight away, have you ever felt Cosmo inside of you? What Cosmo means is it means the universe. So, and it be, if you look at Cosmo, it's a cult agenda. Basically, they're saying that we were created out of thin air. It's that this song is basically just denying the existence of God. And it's basically got a book called The Story of the Heavens. And it's basically saying that heaven was created out of thin air. That there's no... And if you look at the book, there's no mention of God at all. This is what they want. the pushing this agenda. The evolution agenda. That we were created out of thin air. It's a cult agenda. We were not created out of thin air. We were clearly, clearly created by God. God created us. He created us. He created women and man, as we know in the Garden of Eden. Didn't, ha didn't happen through some big bang, which never even happened. And I mean, honestly, you just see the occult agenda unfold in this music video. If you didn't really, st you really have to study this to know what it means. And it does take a lot of research. So yeah, I know the, I know the agenda in this music video. It's so open because I've studied Revelation in that. And I've read a lot of the Bible so much. Which is good to always read the Bible to, so you can see things like these for what they are. It's satanic. And this is what you get when you look at Cosmo. This is what you get. See the agenda here with the false planet. Most likely the planet X agenda again. Notice this universe. This here. We basically say, oh, this, this came out of nowhere. This is what created the universe. This is what created everything. No, it didn't. How, because this is the thing with the eight, the people that believe in evolution. Where did this come from then? Where did this come from? Out of thin air. It's a cult agenda. Some part of our being knows this is where we came from. We long to return and we can. Garbage. It's garbage. We did not come from a cosmo. It, it never happened. It's garbage. We did not come out of this cosmo, out of thin air. And as you see, long to return to, because the cosmos is also within us, we're made of star stuff. Garbage. This is garbage. We're made of star stuff. No, we're not. We're not made out of stars. This is a complete occult agenda, as you see, this is basically what they're promoting in that music video. That the universe is in us. It makes no sense at all. As you see, f this is most likely the false god. Because there's only one god, and it's called the Father. Well, as you see, the occult agenda, this is most likely promoting... As you see, the, basically promoting that this is, that there's no God, that this is basically the cosmos. It's just the agenda, a satanic occult agenda. 
and as well Cosmos, see the OC and I of the Illuminati. This is basically just promoting Satan. This is a film, film music. As you see, the OC and I Cosmos. So in reality, the Cosmos is representing an OC and I, the Eye of Lucifer. So it's just a cult. We were not created by this. We were created by God. God created man in his own image, not through a cosmo. And as you see here, what is Lucifer known as? A shooting star and a comet. And this is a straight up promotion of the fall of Lucifer. That's all this is. It's the fall of Satan. Satan being cast out of heaven onto earth. You can clearly see this is what this is representing. Satan, the fall of him. Straight up satanic because you see comets as well flying past simulating Satan. And as we see here, see the occult symbolism, this is zodiac symbols. Notice as well the heart with the satin ring around it. Notice the key in the heart. This is pagan, pagan worship. The heart symbolism is pagan. And as well, promotion of Saturn, worship of Saturn. And this song, as you can see though, this is just the call. This is the zodiac signs. Zodiac occult symbolism, which zodiac is connected to witchcraft. Well, as you see, this is what this is. So they're basically saying that we were created out of nothing and that it's just a garbage agenda. And notice this planet here, most likely the planet X agenda with aliens and the Anunnaku. Straight up a cultist. Notice here the golden statues, false idol worship. And basically they have twisted the Bible in this music video. They twisted the Bible and I'm going to show you Bible scripture. Why they are showing these golden statues. So as we see this is Psalm 18. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. And as you see here, there is no speech, no language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the earth, the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is a bridegroom coming out of his chamber, and rejoice as a strong man to run a race. Now, basically, the basically dress up like free there's free brides they basically dress up as the brides in this music video this is what i'm showing the specific bible verse as you can see they're basically calling themselves the brides his going forth is from the end of the heaven and his circle unto the ends of it and there is nothing hid from the heart thereof so as you see where they're promoting the heart with a k it's cool and this is as well this is why they're promoting the statues the statues of the law are right rejoice in the heart the commandment of the lord is pure enlightening the eyes but the them statues ain't of god they're false statues see this is where they twist the bible it's hard to understand. Well, as you see. Well, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. There's no mention of God in this video once. As you see again, worship of the black cube. Notice the cube, 
standing around the cube and as well this is something that many people may not know there was actually 12 members of the cosmic girls group and they added uh, another member to make it 13 now what is the what is the number 13 the day that people rebelled against god on the 13th year they rebelled against god that's why they used the pacific number 13 as i said notice they dressed up like brides that's why i showed that pacific bible the scripture notice though they dressed up like well, as I said, notice the three brides. That's why the dress like that, the simulating brides. And as well, the worship in this cube. As we know, the black cube agenda. They basically believe that this is what created Earth and not. It's a cult. As we know, the Islam as well, they were in Mecca. They basically worship a black cube. It's worship of Saturn. That's what it is. The worship in Saturn here. The planet Saturn, which is actually Satan. So, in reality, they're saying they worship Satan because they do. And there we go with the one eye symbolism. The right eye shall be utterly darkened. They're only showing the left eye. More occult symbolism. Promotion of the one eye symbolism. Notice here how she's touching this wolf. And notice how she's got a symbol on her hand. This is witchcraft. It's basically demonic spirits and demons are attracted to certain witchcraft symbols. They attach themselves to it and then the person gets that demonic magic. Because soon after she's touched this wolf, her eyes basically glow. It's witchcraft. As you see, you see her eyes glowing. Her eyes are glowing. Witchcraft and demonic possession. Straight up satanic. Now notice this book here. The story of the heavens. You would think this is about heaven. It ain't. It doesn't mention one word about God. It basically says that heaven created itself. I'm going to show you the actual book. As we see, this is the actual book. Straight up a cultist. This is a cult teaching. We look at uh, the story of heavens is the title of our book. We have indeed a wondrous story to narrate. Beauty, it leads to the comp templation of grand phenomena in nature and in nat nature and great achievements of human genius again it's still the cultist that one can become as god let us enumerate a few of the question which will be naturally asked by one who seeks to learn something of those glorious bodies which adorn our skies what is the sun how hot how big and how distant whence comes its heat what is the moon what are its earth are the planet globes like that on which we live and then you've got all this garbage occultists Shooting star. Orbs are really my sons, the history. Doesn't mention one word. And there it goes, setting of the sun. 
There's not one mention of God. As you see, by the acknowledgement that the whole context of the heavens perform these movements, an important step in the construction of the universe had taken it was clear that the earth could not be a plane intending great distance there was a death well as you see they're basically saying that the earth created itself and the universe created itself complete garbage this book is complete trash doesn't mention god once it says that this is basically worship of planets and worship of the sun that's all it is. It's just a cultist. You know, as you see. Direction. As you see here, this is a magic ritual. And the real meaning behind this, this is basically promoting the rise of the Antichrist. This is what it's really promoting. It is really hard to understand. If you don't study this stuff, you won't have a clue what any of this means in the music video. You won't have a clue. It's secret. Because I've studied it for a long, long time. So why it's so easy to know what it means. Well, this is witchcraft here. It's demonic magic. They're basically trying here. Basically, the this character person comes and tries to take over the planet that they are on, which sounds to me like the Antichrist. As you see, this figure here basically tries to take over the planet so therefore this is Lucifer this is Lucifer manifesting himself as God trying to take over other planets basically what the hint in here is when the Antichrist comes down comes down and starts to rule the earth and and that's what it's saying, it's basically saying the Antichrist ruling over the earth. There's this point in hidden plain sight, this is the Antichrist trying to take over the world. Because you can tell, because when in a certain shot where he's standing on top of a Freemason pillar, his eyes go red, simulating Lucifer. Well, as you can see, they're on a planet here. They're on a planet again. Basically, the false person that you just see basically is trying to take over this planet. Sounds like Lucifer. Again, look at the black and white. Darkness becomes one with lightness. The yin yang and the Freemason occult agenda that darkness becomes one with light doesn't happen as you see here notice though this is you probably notice this from the images of the catholic images where basically a hand is reaching out to god this is false god this is basically simulating well, as you see, the reaching out, basically, this person in the white is representing themselves as God. So, in reality, there, because the person in the white gets basically cast down, so, therefore, the one in the white is representation of Lucifer. They're reaching out to Lucifer. Satanic. See this? This is what this is simulating. These are fallen angels. These are basically the angels that rebelled against God. They've been cast down. Basically, this planet is simulating Earth. The fallen angels have been cast out, kicked out by God. 
as you see the fallen angel wings. These are angels that rebelled against God, as it says in the Bible. That's what these, that's what they did. Satan and his angels basically rebelled against God. God's own angels turned against him. And notice here the these zodiac witchcraft symbols. This one here, that one there, this one here, and notice this one here. Look at it very closely. Six, six, the mark of the beast and the image of the Antichrist. See this false statue here. This is false idol worship. And this here could also as well represent the Kabbalah, which is the Jewish occult, basically connected to magic. All oh, this is zodiac and connected to witchcraft, sorcery. The promoting magic, this statue here simulates a false god. Uh, as it says, like in Baal, where they were worshipping that golden statue. This simulates the same. Well, this is a straight up promotion of witchcraft and wicca and sorcery. There we go again, witchcraft. This is witchcraft, straight up demonic. This is a ritual where you see the free, free brides moving around that cube and they had this like ritual thing in the hand this is a ritual they're performing a ritual here magic demonic magic there you go with one eye symbolism promotion of the one eye symbolism thrown up the one eye of the illuminati Notice the lightning as well. Lightning is a rep representation of Satan. And I saw Satan fall from heaven like lightning. It basically shows lightning striking over and over again. It represents Satan. And as you see the performing witchcraft spells here. And as you see, her eyes glowing up, demonic possession. This is straight up promotion of witchcraft, basically doing a ritual here and casting demonic spells. As you see, these fallen angels, they're basically portraying themselves as fallen angels that have been kicked out of heaven. As you see, they're sitting around the cult circle, the Zodiac. <sighs> As you see, they're sitting around it. This is whenever you, they're sat in a circle, that's a ritual. A demonic ritual. As you can see, she's casting spells. Basically, they try to stop this. Obviously, it's a representation of Lucifer. Well, it's just straight up promotion of the rise of the Antichrist. That's all this is. As you see, this basically person is standing on top of a Freemason pillar. This is most likely a representation of Satan. Because one, you've got the comet star thing flying which is representation of the antichrist who this is on top of this pillar really don't know most likely is satan but then you've got a comet falling in the background so or this could easily simulate a fallen angel i mean black and red i mean straight up demonic as you see, worship of the cubic again, while they're performing a ritual. And notice how the zodiac thing basically starts to 
starts to form in the shape of a star. As you see here, this is a representation of Lucifer being cast out of heaven. This is what this is. Notice though the falling. The falling from heaven, this is a representation of Satan when he was kicked out of heaven. Falling down to earth, because they fall down basically to this planet, which the planet simulates earth. And all this basically starts to connect and form when Satan is basically being thrown out of heaven. Notice how all this ritual and stuff starts to be fulfilled when Satan is thrown down. This is promotion of the rise of the Antichrist, the New World Order. As you see here, it looks like a shooting star. Notice the lightning as well. I saw Lucifer fall from heaven like lightning. That's why they got the lightning timing while something's falling. They basically fall to the ground and then all the people on the planet basically go to the person that's been cast down. And there you go, everything's fulfilled and everything's finished. Simulating the New World Order is complete. The New World Order is now complete, as the Antichrist has come. Now the New World Order is able to be promoted onto the masses. As you see, notice the upside down stars. They're basically hinting to you that this is the Antichrist. I mean, the only person that is known to be falling from heaven like lightning is Satan. So this is Satan. They're portraying themselves as Satan. Everything that they've been doing, basically, the rituals and worshipping the cube, was to bring upon the Antichrist. That's what it was. It was all a ritual to bring upon Satan. Now, as you see here, this is what it ends as. Notice the one eye, the one with the glowing eye simulates the Antichrist. The Antichrist is now risen and exanting himself above God. Notice how both of them, on the other one you can only see the right eye, on the other one you can only see the left. Indoctrinating you with the one eye symbolism this is the straight up rise of the Antichrist.